they've kind of always been best friends. Okay. High five. Blue high five. Yeah. We've had Loki for three years now. He's never lost his puppy nature. <laughs> He's always been very friendly and very inquisitive. And then Tallulah come along uh, two years ago. She has no fear. She was very intrigued at Loki. Loki, do not ignore me. Get down. He very much grew up cut doing whatever he wanted. What are you doing, Loki? Oh, you're bad. I always found it quite endearing, so that probably made me not the best trainer. You best get down. I don't mean sit down. He, he never really got told off, so... I don't know if he's just a naughty dog that is too intelligent for his own good and he understands authority and he just doesn't like it. But I would say he's mischievous more than anything. Well, I don't know if you can see them now. He's just lying on the floor, just kind of watching her. He's always conscious of where she is. He always kind of wants to be around Tallulah. He's like that person that doesn't have any social barriers and he'll want to say hello to any person, any dog, anything, and he'll just want to say hello. Because Loki is so kind of loving, when Tallulah come along... <laughs> yeah, <Joker. laughs> <laughs> Rather than being jealous, he was very much wanting to see who this new family member he could share some of his love with was. When she was a baby, they would both be lying on the sofa together. And, and so now she's 18 months old, she just always wants to spend her time with him. You'll see Loki and Tallulah like sitting in the corner of the room or sitting under the table and they're just chilling with each other. We have a stair gate, and these two will always be standing there watching who's there. I've always been a big fan of kids growing up with animals. It's worked well. Say goodbye.